page where I basically just cover my ass for not having talked about mathematics. Um, and that was, that was essentially an editorial decision. I had an entire chapter planned out and half written about the most crucial mathematics you need, because clearly you need maths to build bridges and not have things fall down on you. Um, and there's good reasons why geometry and, and algebra would, were developed by ancient uh, Egypt and, and, and Islamic cultures. But at the end of the day, it's just, you can't write about maths in the same way you can write about chemistry or technology or, um, or biology. And I didn't want to have basically a math textbook kind of shoved in there where I'm telling people about the basics of geometry and algebra. It wouldn't be fun to write, it wouldn't be fun to read. Page where I basically just cover my ass for not having talked about mathematics. Um, and that was page where I basically just cover my ass for not having talked about mathematics. In the UK and the EU, uh, that would cover uh, uh, the relations uh, post Brexit. Um, in that case, uh, until the UK um, formally leaves the EU, which uh, if the government uh, triggers Article 50 of the Treaty on the European Union, would mean that the UK would leave uh, the EU in two years' time unless um, there was a unanimous uh, uh, agreement to extend the period of negotiation. In the event there is no extension to uh, these negotiations, if the UK uh, decides to leave without a deal in two years' time, then uh, in March, the UK and the EU, uh, that would cover uh, uh, the relations uh, post Brexit. Um, in that case, in the UK and the EU, uh, that would cover uh, uh, the relations uh, post Brexit. At the age of 18, I'm on the front cover, we're doing live television, we came over here, we did American Bandstand, went to Japan and did all this stuff. But I had this smash and grab mentality of like, um, that I would have less time than a superstar soccer player, right? Like, we've got two years, grab that case of beer, we're out, not realizing. I, you know, I met Joe Shanahan from the Metro in 1981, I still see him with his kids, Dave and Busters, right? <laughs> You just don't think like that. You're just like, get the, grab that bottle of whiskey, worry. At the age of 18, I'm on the front cover, we're doing live television, we came over here, we did. At the age of 18, I'm on the front cover, we're doing live television, we came over here, we did. My interests sort of cover it in a variety of directions. Uh, partly having researched on it, partly as trustee of a couple of big um, arts institutions until recently of the English National Opera, partly as a creator, so I'm the exec producer of one of the big screenings, cinema screenings projects, and have worked in art that has been made around data. I was proud to um, play a small part in the Don Mars Privacy production not long ago. But I, I sort of came to the conclusion in the end that what really matters is what we do with this data, whether it influences our decision making. So I was very interested to pot around the country and talk to leaders and practitioners in the field about this and about how they, how they tackle the quantity of data that's available, how you then analyse that. My interests sort of cover it in a variety of directions. My interests sort of cover it in a variety of directions. Countries, for example, forest cover is increasing in rich countries and decreasing in poor countries. These are some of the reasons I'm an optimist about the future, not in Voltaire's sense of the word optimist. In those days, an optimist was someone who thought this world was perfect and it couldn't get better. That's what pessimists believe nowadays, the environmental pessimists in particular. I'm an optimist in the sense that I think this world, great as it is for many people, is still a veil of tears compared with what it could be in the future. Countries, for example, forest cover is increasing in rich countries and decreasing in poor countries. Countries, for example, forest cover is increasing in rich countries and decreasing in poor countries. In publishing, and we work very much with the cover image and the blurb, and then the text. It's all very wordy, but when you're trying to shrink it down to an app size, you're really only looking at small bits and bytes of information. And Alistair was really good at getting us to concentrate on the essential and came up with our tagline as well, mobilising Scottish literature. With a website, it's really easy to go in. You, you can change it instantly and provided you've got the personnel and the know-how, the CMS, in publishing. And we work very much with the cover image and the blurb. In publishing, and we work very much with the cover image and the blurb. more clearly how we needed to cover the story. Guy Rolnick, do you think this tells us something about the media and its ability to connect the dots sometimes? Yes, it tells us, first of all, the media, it's not that the media cannot connect the dots. 
I'm sure that the Guardian people and all the most of the journalists around the world can connect the dots on the environmental issue and the climate change. The question is, how do journalists perceive their mission? And if we look at the, I don't know, last decades, maybe more than decades, uh, journalists uh, did not really like the idea of more clearly how we needed to cover the story. Guy Rolnick, do you think this tells us something about the media and its ability to connect the dots? More clearly how we needed to cover the story. Digital to sort of cover anything to do with ICT. The jury's out on to what extent it changes things. Does it allow people to work remotely some of the time in different time zones? It certainly allows me and Jim to work together in different time zones. How does it do that? Is it a sustainable model? Or actually, do we need the sort of interaction we're getting here and now, and me attempting to digital to sort of cover anything to do with ICT? The jury's out on to what extent it changes things. Does it allow people to work digital to sort of cover anything to do with ICT? The jury's out on to what extent it changes things. Does it allow people digital to sort of cover anything to do with ICT? The jury's out on to what extent it changes things book in both meanings of word, like red, red cover and with a white illustration on top. And I read that when I was growing up. I was around 11, didn't understand most of it, but it felt very interesting in general. And then I read it again a few years later when I was an undergraduate and I knew what mathematical rigor was, and I discovered all sorts of things that were even more interesting that I didn't learn before. And then I read it again, like, a few years later when I, when I was a graduate student. Hey, what I book is this? Sorry, say it again. So, so this is Winning Ways. Winning Ways, okay. Ah. Yes, and, and like at every level that I read it, I've read it a few times, and every time, I, I've, like, every time it's interesting and every time I find out a bit more. And the question is basically, is this sort of thing intentional? Was it designed to be accessible at, at all levels, or, ah. or did it just sort of fall out that way? Um, we, this is a book about children's games, really. A book in both meanings of word, like red, red cover and with a white illustration on top. And I read that when I was growing up. I was around a book in both meanings of word, like red, red cover and with a white illustration on top. And I read... Of course, but... Excellent. Organize a business trip. We'll cover the expenses, go over to their location, inflate the balloon. Well, this is very productive. Thank you all. Can I ask you one more question, please? When you inflate the balloon, could you do it in the form of a kitten? Of course I can. I can do anything. I can do absolutely anything. I'm an expert. Of course, but... Excellent. Organize a business trip. We'll cover the expenses, go over to their location, inflate the balloon. Of course, but... Excellent. Organize a business trip. We'll cover the expenses, go over to their location, inflate the